What's up, Rag Squad? Welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm just gonna be showing you guys real quick how to code um, your live cockpit professional to um, the Alpina display, and also how to code your um, your iDrive to match um, the Alpina display as well. So, so here in Bimmer Code, uh, we have right now mine is coded to the um, the M Performance 200 miles an hour um, display, and I mean this is just this is typical from your um from the the actual like oem or i should say the normal m sport display so it really doesn't change much it just adds a 200 miles an hour to it um now i'm going to change that to the alpina display i'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick let me just adjust the ipad so you can see uh so you just go to let me go back if you go to your instrument cluster after connecting your obd it's going to check the coding data Okay, there we go. Now you click on layout right here. So you click on your layout and then you go to Alpina. Click on Alpina and then you you also have um, other ones you could choose from. So you have Alpina, you have the M, you have M performance up to 160, M performance up to 200, you have the normal M Sport, which is like the standard one. And then, and then you hit code. And once you start the, the code in, it will reboot um, the ECU and everything after it's done. So there we have it, a uh, successful coding. Um, that's what the Alpina display now looks like. And then if you go to sport mode, it turns um, the icons to to green. So you get your temperature, grade, temperature gauge in green, um, your fuel display as well. And then if we start the car or if we're driving, then your, your tachometer right here, this will also Illuminate in green as well. I'll probably show you guys at a later time since I don't want to start a car now, but that will turn a green now if you want to match the the startup sequence um, To Alpina as well. We can do that. So I'm gonna show you guys that real quick So you're gonna to go to um, your head unit And then once that loads you're gonna click on start animation and right now uh, mine is set to the M variant one. If you haven't seen that, um, check out my. I'll leave a video in the in the description so you can check that video out of me actually coding this one. So right now we're on M variant one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and code it to Alpina to match the the instrument cluster. So I click on Alpina, then you hit back, and then code. Start coding. So our head unit is successfully coded and this animation is actually like really cool. I'll say this is probably the coolest animation inside the car so far, even cooler than the M animation, but I really don't see a reason as to why would have this if you don't drive an Alpina. It's almost like, like putting an M badge on your car if you don't have an M, but nonetheless, it's pretty cool. I think it's really cool that it's there. So. Now it matches the instrument display, and uh, when you undo, when you unlock the doors and stuff, the animation will play as well. All right, squad, well, that's pretty much it for this video. So, um, if you want to see other codings, just let me know in the description or in the comment section below. Just make sure you comment what you want to see me code on here, and uh, I'll go ahead and try to and then show you guys a video on it. Um, but as of now, I'm gonna change mine back to the M because I like I like I said, I think the Alpina just doesn't fit the vehicle being that it's a bmw but um i guess i'll i guess I'll, I'll keep it for a few days to see how i like it and then i'll probably just go right back to being um the m sport um the m sport um display but that's pretty much it for this video guys so be sure to leave a like comment um and make sure you share the videos also make sure you guys subscribe and uh see you guys in the next one peace